Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. And we are on the coast of Atal Grawl, guys. Actually, we are right above the Shrine of Grawl himself, the Shark Loa. And we just gave the Shrine an offering of fresh Naga meat, which apparently Grawl really appreciated. And he has a quest for us, so let's see what the big guy wants. Beneath the waves. Those witches dare in my temple. Syavas is stretching past the realm at which she can comprehend. There is a darkness seeking them, and they call to it. Her kind will become no more than a hollow tool to those who may answer. I feel it moving beneath us, around us. I feel it like a tremor through my being. There is a pressure there. It has weight greater than that of the deepest ocean. We must stop them. They are not welcome here. Slay Summoner Siavas and the Whispering Horror. Hmm. For 281 gear. To the south you will find what remains of my temple. I will find you there, and we will teach these Naga about the fury of a shark loa. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, well, I think this actually may be the end of the quest line. There is the Whispering Horror. There's that one tentacle there. That's not too bad. And then after this, guys, I think, now that I have been corrected as to what a... Oh, lordy. Well, I feel mighty. Oh, he's getting right after it, isn't he? All right, well, let's go ahead and take out the summoner as best we can. You're very busy. Aha! And here. Abyss, take you! And mucus tendril. Huzzah! Are we good? I think we're good. The Naga are trying to hide something. My strength may be waning, but one should never underestimate a Loa. Yes, indeed. A dark soul has infiltrated the Zatuli Council, seeking an accord with Queen Ashara. Hey, 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 really? I, I had no idea. Some followed through greed or fear. Others were too trusting and believed his lies. We fall one by one, and they will soon clear the path of resistance. Ashara's motor. Oh, <laughs> whoops, response. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, travel up here. There we go. Oh, Jaws. <laughs> dun dun. Ashara's motives are hidden behind a vast darkness. She reaches into a place from where she cannot return. I would pity her, but she killed my followers. When the time comes, I will rip her apart. Share Grawl's warnings with the Seekers. There is something out there. There is darkness. The Naga's motives here were not self-driven. I will find out more. Grow in strength and wisdom, Swindlegear. We will need it. I, I like the fact that a shark Loa's voice would be very calm and almost soothing in a creepy way. I don't know if I said it during this series. I may have said it during Legion, but one of my favorite villain voices ever was the voice of um, Sutek from the old Doctor Who serial Pyramids of Mars. It was one of the Tom Baker ones back in the uh, 60s or 70s. And his voice, they have a few, they have a clip of, of like one of his more famous quotes on YouTube, but he, all of his dialogue he has this voice that's rather soothing and but creepy at the same time. It's almost ASMR-ish in a weird way. But uh, just, that voice like gives me shivers when I think about it. 
Step closer and don't mumble. It seems the Naga have moved up in threat level from mere nuisance. Oh, the, these are dark days indeed. Not everything in the ocean is as good-looking or nice-mannered as I am. Well, we chose well. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. This is all perpetrated by someone on the council. They sacrificed their own people, Grawl's followers for Ashara. That's unconscionable. Well, they weaken the foundation and so the kingdom will fall. One of your people must have direct access to the king. Anyone else could be the traitor. Warn Bane of the betrayal. Fine, leave. I was done talking to you. So we just completely missed this. We're just kind of settling up old accounts. And um, like I said, since the fact you guys corrected me on what exactly a war front is, which is a big kind of PVE um, scenario, I guess we should go ahead and do the Arathi war front and kind of check that out and see what's what. At least uh, give it a look-see. And then once that's done, head over to Darkshore. Because we're actually running out of content, which is a good thing. Um, other than the... Um, what is the name of that? Darkest Dungeon. I think the Darkest Dungeon quest over here with the, at the mansion. The abandoned or forgotten homestead. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that alone. But we're getting really close to just doing the raids, guys. And apparently a new the new patch will be dropping in July. So we we've, we've got some time to to actually catch up, believe it or not. Which is pretty slick. I'd have to say even with the RP sessions with Dreisy. I love it when a plan comes together. Okie dokie. Let Bane know what's going on. He is very aware, but I guess it bears repeating. We fight when we must. For Azeroth. It was wise of you to bring this to me, Swindlegear. Honor those who came before us. The thought of Zul allying with the Naga is troubling indeed. If we're to have any hope of bringing the Zandalari into the Horde, we must keep each other strong. Yes, indeedy. Okay. So I don't think that there's any way that we can just queue up for the Warfront. We have to head over there and try and see if we can maybe talk to an NPC or some such. But I guess I'll uh, see you guys back at a, at the Arathi Highlands. Ah, uh, okay. I see what we need to do here. So the War Table here in the Port of Zandalar actually gives us access to the Warfronts. We've got the battle for Stromgard, patrol. The Horde holds Argorok and controls Arathi Highlands. Deathstalker spies report the Alliance is contributing to their own war effort in Arathi. Alliance contribution 64%. So we currently hold the battle. Defeat rare monsters and enemy forces around Arathi Highlands for a chance at special rewards. And then we have... Fight alongside your allies to remove the Alliance presence from Darkshore. So the Alliance currently has Darkshore. So, hmm. You know what? Greetings. Part of me does want to try out Darkshore, but since we're rocking out a Rathi, let's just head this way. We'll head back, and I guess a lot of these. Is anyone here to do, like, the lion's roar? Okay, good, 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 good. We might as well just give it a shot. If we if we own the territory, we'll do a few of the world quests and see if there's anything, like, cool that drops off of these guys. And looks like we've got some, a rare spawn. Burning Goliath. I'm curious. Ooh, that's a lot of elites around him, though. Okay, that wouldn't be particularly advisable, would it? So we haven't read up on war fronts. Essentially, what they are is kind of a callback. The Alliance has cobbled oh. together their own Azerite-powered war machine. If it's even half as potent as ours, 
It must be destroyed. Now. That's a the pretty big tank there. Eh? together their own Azerite powered war machine. Thank you, Nathanos. And I guess people are joining up for this. Group is currently forming. Hmm. Yeah, we got some alliance troops. Like they're they're in the gathering resources. This is kind of like the um, the tower and the, the stuff from the Legion um, base in the Legion expansion. Like the mage's tower and all that. <laughs> yeah. And oh, oh, are are we doing this? Shifty cow? What? Okay, I guess we're doing this. And this cannons, of course. Why wouldn't they be? But the Warfronts are supposed to be like a, a tribute to like Warcraft 3, the RTS aspects. The old Warcraft. And, um... But instead of commanding the troops from above, you're actually, like, in the thick of it. Which I think is a really cool way, because I think some people have really wanted to have that kind of mechanic where they could actually be the troops fighting in the front. In, these strat in those kind of strategy games. Imagine how fun that would be in, like, StarCraft. That'd be a license to print money, I would, fa I would think. So, pretty cut and dry here. We just gotta stay out of the stupid. Fire bad. Another ramshackle alliance scheme thwarted. Still, I suppose congratulations are in order. Appreciate it. And what do we get there? Makeshift Azerite Detector. Uses teaches you how to craft makeshift Azerite Detector. Equip a champion, which grants the chance to bring back Azerite from successful missions. Huh. No qualms there. Let's head over here and deal with the night captain. So we do definitely. Oh, yeah. Wretch, you can you can fly here. You're in familiar territory. Well, not that familiar. Arathi has had quite the facelift. Your opponent has been sighted in your vicinity. Care to test your metal? Yeah, let's go ahead and leave the party. Oh lord. I am glad I stealthed. That could have been horrendous. Hmm. Well, we're gonna start just taking out these guys one by one. I... Alrighty. Oh, they run away in fear. Humans. They don't seem to be doing a whole lot of damage. That's good. Come over here, friends. I'll shoot you from afar before you can... Go let people know what's up. Just so we can get close enough to shoot that night captain there. This is not exactly a subtle assassination mission. But you know it's the best I got. Unraveling cloth pants. Well, that's embarrassing. So we'll sap the faithful. And... Hi. <laughs> the horse saw me. Alright, not that impressive. Damage-wise. That's good. Just a lot of trash. Well 
well done. They should have known oh, better than to tangle Oof. the champion of the Dark Lady. Hmm. Oh, Hammerfall still. Let's see how Hammerfall has changed. That was the primary uh, base for the Horde here in the Highlands. We still got the Raptors and everything. So not everything has changed, it looks like. Maybe it'll be some quests. And if nothing else is... Travel through time to another point in Arathi Highlands history. Oh! You can go back to the OG if you feel inclined to. That's nice. Here's another... There's a rare spawn. Good old Skull Ripper. I wonder, can we... Potentially take out the Skull Ripper? Is that in the cards? Oh no, 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 no. Nope, nope, nope. And we are not in a good part of town. <laughs> Clever girl. Hey, where are you, Smee? Come on. Run for your life with me. And all this could have been avoided had I flown. Alright, got a little bit of a facelift. Looking good. That used to be a, just a shack up here on this platform. So it's been properly hoarded out. And is that... Oh, the Defilers are still here. What now? For 60 copper. That's cool, you can still do that. Alright, well, I think I've seen enough here. To tell you the truth, I do kind of... Cresting Goliath, so... They've got those elemental... Lords. Echo of... Mizrael. I do want to see if I can take on Skull Ripper, though. Just without any assistance. There we go. And right, we got our vanish now, if need be. Oh, I don't want to bring any of your friends over. It's a fight for the ages. Reminds me when I first got to Zandalar and I was fighting. Ah, oh, Lord. Alright, well, that was worth a shot. Time to run now. Don't think that's in the cards for us. Well, I guess we'll head back to the Banshee's Whale and head to Darkshore and see what's what. Provided a raptor doesn't suddenly try to attack us. Are we good? Huzzah! Oh, you just heard the, the aggro. That was just in time. Oh, looks like the rain has reached over here. Unread mail from Shoke. Angry little mask. Oh, this is the... I forgot what I, what voice I used for him. Well, Spindle Gear, I've got a new story to tell you. While exploring some ruins, I made a spooky little friend. He and Kajash don't get along so well, so I probably shouldn't keep him here. Maybe next time you're in Gloom Hollow, maybe you can give him a good home. Yes, indeedy. And now I can't fly. Uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to go ahead and <laughs> take the rocket for a little joyride. And a 
I know we need to talk to the captain. We're going to get this dark shell or dark shore the old fashioned way by sailing. Aye? Yeah, go ahead and send me the dark shore there, Captain. Get moving! Why should I get moving? You're the one who's actually sailing the ship. You know, kind of get me there in a good amount of time there. Too sweet. Chop, chop. And here we are. Ah, okay, it's finished cooking. Some nice ashes there. Do not test me. Your arrival is timely. We have a problem. Black Moon Rising, Dark Ranger Roundup. Darkshore has never been known for being bright and sunny, but something strange has happened here. A black moon hangs over everything. None of the scouts I've sent to the forest have returned. The night elves are up to something, and I need to know what it is. Their rank and file won't have the information we seek. Hunt down their lieutenants and get them to talk by any means necessary. Interrogate lieutenants Golras, Iviath, and Maliria. We must discover the source of this unnatural night. Make sure your investigation is thorough. These night elf ambushes have left us undermanned. We need reinforcements of where the whole dark shore. Brinja, one of the dark ladies Valkyr, can provide us with those reinforcements. Slay the night elves and command her to raise them into our service. Should any prove unwilling, deal with them. Did I not make myself clear? Go. The Dark Lady has plans for these Dark Rangers. Slave Indictive Sentinels and Archers and command Brinja to raise them as Dark Rangers. And we get a Dark Ranger Spare Cow. Make yourself. When the Night Elves lie dead at your feet, call on Brinja to raise them. Brinja. Shredmaxer, or Shredmaster Blix. Yo. Yeah, this is terrible, Swindle Gear. We ain't got, we got harvesters, but they ain't harvesting. And we've been busting our rumps, chopping down all the trees, but something keeps tangling up our machines in the vines. I ain't going out there with those night elves stalking around. See if you can get in there and free up my equipment. Free goblin harvesters from vines. Keep it real. Think I can pull that off? Yeah, Dark Shore is a lot smaller than I recall. Hello there, Vindictive Sentinel. And what do you got to be vindictive about? Oh, never mind. You have been given another chance. Surprised they would go along with that. Kind of like Davy Jones's crew on board the Flying Dutchman. Life is life. Or some semblance of it. Death calls you home. Ooh, nice little grouping. Yeah, you don't. Over here, please. Yeah, I need all of you. <laughs> You're coming home, coming home. Whether you like it or not. You have been given another chance. Angry. Oh. Ah, so this is what happens when they say no. And just attack, and that is a big saber tooth. Tainted night saber. Maybe one at a time would be best then. You have been given another chance. Yeah, I think that might be the most the best way to go about this. You have been given another chance. 
It's almost like if they're reinforced by their friends who fell in battle as well, they don't want to help out. Or they don't want to cooperate. And hopefully, this will be the last one. Yeah. Not even death will stop you now. And we cannot fly here. Now, one of the things that they could do is they could make the story that uh, the ash, or maybe the black moon there, that looks awesome, is uh, responsible for making sure the flight can't happen. Zap the bear. No talking, only death. Eh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's out of the Night Elf character. You guys love to talk. Scamper back to your Banshee Queen. We are coming for you. Ooh, the Moon Wardens. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, let's go ahead and free this harvest. Do you mind? Oops. Poof! Okay. We need to be cool here. There we are. Now we run. Now that I don't need to kill them, I'm going to try to avoid them, and they're going to become more annoying. See? See? And they stealth so perfectly with the terrain. Oh lord. You know, I wasn't really planning to kill you. But you kind of forced me. Yeah! You all need to stop traveling in packs. Really, it's kind of getting annoying. In Night Elves, not Murlocs. Oh, look at you with a little bit of misdirect there. Okay, this is our last shredder. Okay, goblins are happy. Two more lieutenants. Army of the Black Moon. I won't go down that easy. It... You know, your particular difficulty in how you go down, it doesn't really matter. The, see, the, the more important thing is that you go down. The end is close now. Hey, you're telling me. And we'll just zoom, zoom over here. Ooh, there's a ton of night elves, though. Maybe survivors from Darnassus that have all been trained up and good to go. Filled with vitriol. I will tell you nothing, horde scum. Now you see, that is just rude. Like, after I s have I been making fun of you while trying to kill you? No. You will not win. We follow your every step. Well, can you do it a little quieter? Oh, hello there, Wisp. The Wisp bobs up and down, as if in a daze. The Wisp flickers at you in a confused manner. It seems to want to follow you. Perhaps that is information Nathano seeks. <laughs> hey, Nathanos, I have brought you a battle pet. Now rain your rewards down upon me. I prefer gold. Time is money, friend. Yeah, now that's more like it. 
As soon as the boss gets rid of those night elves, we won't have ourselves a lumber problem anymore. Have a good one. What have you dragged along with you? Actually, it flew around, to tell you the truth. Hmm. That is not exactly what I meant when I said to bring back something useful. And how quickly they turn against their own goddess. It appears these night elves won't give up the information easily, but perhaps that wisp you captured will. See if you can get it to reveal what happened here. I don't care how you do it. Father Norlath will handle the wisp from there. Speak with the lost wisps to find out why the moon turned dark. Get moving. Okay, guys. Looks like we have a little bit of an interrogation to do, but we're going to do that at the beginning of the next episode. Um, I know we got the RP session with Dereisty. We're going to go ahead and try and finish this up as quickly as we can on Friday um, at the beginning of the stream. Um, hopefully Dereisty will be able to do it, and um, if not, we'll go ahead and just continue on with this, but we'll try and get this out of the way before the RP session. So, hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.